Hey guys, it's PersonFace here bringing you a 300 subscriber special, which is a merching guide. Merching can be practically the best money in game other than staking or gambling, which is also risky. Merching is risky, but it's not as risky as gambling or staking. If you're good at merching, you can make tons and tons of money off of it. Like, insane amounts, like you can make bills per day without even putting in effort. The main reason people don't know how to merch is because they oversimplify it. It's not just buying things that you see and then trying to sell them for hire. It's more complex than that, so I'll get into that. The first kind of merching I'm going to go into is buying out, which can be risky as prices are usually on average before you buy out and then they're high so they'll fall if you don't sell your items quick enough. Buying out can be one of the best ways to merge as you're buying really cheap and then you're making the item expensive by basically controlling the item's economy and holding a monopoly on it. For example here, this is kind of a smaller buyout but you would buy out all of these dragon boots and you keep buying even to here and you'd stop right here because there's a lot of them in for around 8 mil. You could keep going but that makes it just more risky and more risky as you make the item higher and higher. It would be best to stop around right here and sell them for 7.8 mil. That way you're buying most of them for 7 mil and then selling for 7.8, so 800k profit per dragon boot. Another way to merch would be watching items and trying to snipe out cheap offers. An example would be, say, every few hours you search up Fury, and it happens that there's a cheap offer right now for one, but usually it won't be there, and you can kind of get an idea of the prices on each item that you search. And then whenever you see one that's below the normal price like this, then you can buy it and sell it for some profit. The final way to merch is to watch the yell chat and look for anyone that says like, you know, blow out POS because, you know, they're trying to stake or something. Because a lot of people put really cheap items and if you can snipe them fast enough, then you can make a lot of profit. You can also use yell chat to try to buy things lower. See like Royal Spiker here is trying to buy 10 scrolls for 2.3 bill each and if he gets any he can easily sell them for 2.6 bill. This merching is only suggested to donators for the yell chat because you can't use it as an all member. But you can also set up an auto typer and do what this guy's doing and basically auto type that you're buying things for lower than they are in POS and when you do get some then you can just sell it in the POS for some pretty good profit. Now that we're through with that I'll try to go over items that you should try to merch. It's not as simple as just looking for gaps because there are many items where there will be a good margin where you can possibly make some profit but the items won't sell so you're basically stuck with an item that will basically never sell. Items like Ornament Dragon can be good as they do sell, but they sell really slowly, so if you want to have your cash locked up in a single item, you can go for these, you'll make some profit, but you'll probably make more if you merge more steady items like Furies, Whips, Dragon Boots, etc. As you can see, you could buy one of these for 95 mil, one for 100 mil, and then sell it for 115 but it would probably take a few days, so it's kind of your decision if you want to try these kind of merches because they are kind of risky in case the item does drop. Items like Halloween masks can also be good because they're commonly traded and a lot of times people put them in for pretty cheap, so you can buy them for cheap and then sell them for higher. Also items that people use to PK with are also good because there's a lot of PKers that are buying them often to PK with, and then the people who PK the items will sell them for cheap, so you can often make profit off of this. PK items include Darox, um, Whips, Furies, Vesta's Longsword, stuff like that that people often PK with. Some more items that work pretty well are skilling supplies that people are always using when trying to max, like 
adamant bars, U logs, magic logs, etc. Now before I go, I'd like to apologize for my voice because it's probably a little off because I'm kind of sick right now, but I hope you enjoy it otherwise. And the main reason I'm making this video is because it can be the best money in game that is consistent. I have made around 300 mil per hour on average on my one multi party hat based on my playing time and my bank on there. And a lot of times I'm AFK on that account, so that's like really good money. I just advise you not to go crazy with merching because if you're an amateur you can lose a lot of money quickly. So I'd like for you to practice small first and sort of get the idea and then you can go bigger and make more money. Now, if you do lose money, it's not the end of the world. I don't suggest stopping merching completely just because you lose some money because even I, as a good mercher, have lost a lot of money on certain flips. So, it happens to everyone and you kinda just gotta deal with it. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!